Hello everyone, this is Daniel with fitnessblender.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and get the newest workout video every Monday morning. Now today we have a nice lower body workout for you. You can either do this with just body weight, which is what I'm going to be doing, or you can add uh, weights to it and I'll show you how to do that through the entire routine as well. It's just body weight, it's a really nice toning. It's gonna get those muscles a little bit sore, but not too bad. With weights, however, this is an entirely different beast. You can get those muscles really nice and sore and build a lot of muscle tissue. So. You get to decide how you want to go through this. We have your warm-up and your cool, your cool down included, so don't worry about either one of those. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. All right, everyone, each one of these exercises we're going to be doing for 30 seconds apiece. Let me go ahead and get my timer started here. We're starting off with just a slow butt kicker. So basically just standing in place, pulling those heels back up towards your butt as close as is comfortable. So nice and straight and tall. Bring one heel at a time. Squeeze it nice and tight. Really work that hamstring. You're not worrying about trying to uh, pull your knee up. You're trying to pull your heel back. So keep your, your quadricep, your thigh pretty much straight up and down. Just nice and slow back and forth. Tight squeeze every single time. Start speeding it up if you feel comfortable. Got a high knee march coming up next. Gonna switch that high knee march, just bring that knee straight up. Nice and slow at first, focus on that form, keeping your torso straight up and down. And then if you want to, start speeding it up. Just keep those lungs open, focus on that form. Drive that knee up really nice and high. Use that hip flexor muscle through the front of that hip to really pull it up. And let it relax, You're doing toe touch sweeps next. So feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, uh, maybe about twice shoulder width or so. Down to one foot, cross the other side, back up, a little bit of a side lean, and then back down again. Cross the other side, again, a little bit of a side lean. So you're trying to get stretch to those hamstrings, but you're also trying to get a little bit of a stretch through that uh, oblique as well. So nice, slow, controlled motion at first until you feel comfortable with that motion, and speed it up if you like. All right, keep those feet out really nice and wide. Widen a little bit more if you want to. Bend one knee, you're gonna drop off to just that side, come right back up. So we're gonna be doing a warrior pulse, just down towards that one side only. To bend that knee as far as is comfortable. When you come back up to the top, don't lock your knee out. So don't let it actually pop back. Keep a little tiny, tiny bit of a bend on it. So that quadricep has to constantly work. Same thing on the other side. Turn that other foot out. Torso straight up and down, arms parallel to the ground or as close to it as you can get. Just press out over top of that foot as far as is comfortable. And remember, don't let that knee lock out, keeping it slightly, slightly bent, a little bit soft. The top of that range of motion, just going down as far as you can out to the side. Those lungs open, nice big full deep breaths. And relax, we're doing squat circles next. So again, feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down to one side, sweep across in the middle, come back up to the center, and then back down, opposite direction, and back up. Again, focus on the form first, and then start speeding it up as you become more comfortable with it. Keep those lungs open, keep that back flat. And ice skaters are next, you're gonna do it with just one leg at a time. Leg comes out in front of you, nice and slow. Back behind you, back in front. Just keep that foot hovering off the ground ever so slightly as you become more comfortable with that. And if you want more of a challenge, you lift that leg higher into the air, but keep that torso straight up and down. You don't want to lean Forward as you kick back, you want to keep that torso up. Same thing when you bring that leg in front. All right, same thing on the opposite leg. Start hovering just a little bit off the ground. Getting that balance first. And then raise that leg and speed up that motion as you get that control. And just like me, you'll probably notice one side you'll have a little better uh, time 
keeping that balance on the opposite side. I'm having a little trouble today. All right, let that relax. Doing an alternating lunge rotation. So step out, rotate both directions, and then come back up. Step out with the opposite leg. Make sure you twist in the opposite direction you did last time. Take a nice, long step every single time. All right, come back up. We're doing a squatting calf raise. So, feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, keep that back flat, just a nice clean squat form. And then when you come back up to the top, flex up onto those toes as high as you possibly can. So squat down and flex up. Again, get that form down first, and then speed that motion up as you can, as you feel comfortable, as long as you still have control. And let it relax. All right, as the first little warm up, we will be starting into those exercises to challenge those muscles a little bit more. Coming up next, like I said, you can do this with just body weight, or you can do this with dumbbells. So if you wanna do it with dumbbells, go ahead and get those set up for when we come back. I'll see you in just a second. All right, everyone, here's where the uh, real work starts. If you're going to be using dumbbells, go ahead and grab those now. We're going to be doing each one of these exercises for 45 seconds on with a 15 second break to give you a chance to kind of shake those legs out and grab a new set of weights if you're doing that. Let's go ahead and get started here. Our first exercise is going to be a lunge pulse. So you're going to be doing just one side, step out as if you were doing a lunge, but stay right here, grabbing those dumbbells by your sides. You're just gonna lunge down, get that knee as close to the ground as you can, then come right back up. So if you're not using any weight, you're just using body weight, just focus on that form. Nice full range of motion. When you come up to the top, keep those knees slightly soft, don't lock them out. So make sure those muscles have to work the entire time. You never give them any rest. If you're using those dumbbells, it's off to your sides. Just make sure you keep that torso straight up and down either way. Get those lungs open. Like I said, we're going for a full 45 seconds. So we got some time here. Just get comfortable with that position. Focus on that form. Continue to recheck. And let that relax. We're going to shake those legs out for just a second. Grab those uh, next dumbbells if you want to. If we're doing the same exact exercise, just on the opposite leg. All right, switch directions. Same exact thing, just with that opposite leg back. All right, like I said, keep that front knee a little bit soft. Don't lock it out all the way. Keep those lungs open. Just focusing on that form. The longer step you take, the wider those feet are set apart the harder it's going to be for you. The slight, slight difference. And let it relax. We're moving on into a squatted side step is our next one. So you're gonna be squatting down really nice and low, just stepping left and right. So grab your weights for that if you want to. I suggest using just one. So you squat down nice and low, step to the side, step back, step to the side again, and up. That's, your, that's all the break you get. Otherwise, you're staying down in that squatted position. So it's three steps. One, two, three. Stand very short period of time, right back into it. Focus on that form, keep them nice flat back, whether you're using weights or not. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, we're doing a straight leg deadlift with your feet regular, so just uh, perpendicular to one another, or sorry, parallel to one another. So grab those weights if you want to, just hold them Two, right by your thighs, otherwise just body weight, flat back, tip forward as far as you can until you feel that hamstring, and then right back up again. You want to keep those knees as straight as you possibly can the entire time. If 
you're just doing this body weight and you want to make it a little bit more difficult, hands behind your head for a little more leverage, or full extension. Otherwise, if you're trying to go easy on yourself, just keep those hands down by your waist. Keep those knees straight. You don't want them perfectly locked out, but almost. And then relax. All right, that's our first round through. So we're doing all those over again before we move to our next group of exercises. So starting back over with that lunge pulse with that left leg forward. And start up, just down as low as is comfortable. Try to get that knee as close to the ground as you can but limit that range of motion if you need to for your current strength level. Again, if you're using dumbbells, just let them hang directly by your side. Just pick whatever weight is appropriate for you to keep that form as clean as you possibly can, full range of motion for as much or as, as long of this interval as possible. You wanna pick something, a weight that you can do all the way through with just maybe like three or four seconds until uh, the end before your muscles start giving out on you. You want a really nice burn though. All right, let's relax. We're doing the same thing facing the opposite direction. So this time your right foot forward. Either body weight or holding those dumbbells again. Just make sure you do the same thing you did on the last side. So don't want to be imbalanced. Drop that knee down as low as is comfortable. Again, torso straight up and down. If you're doing this with a body weight and you wanna just make it a little bit more challenging for balance, make those the ankle complex and those uh, muscles to your core have to work a little bit harder. You can bring those hands directly above your head and it just raises that center of gravity ever so slightly. Makes it just a little more difficult. Nothing huge. About five seconds left. And let it relax. Man, it is a noisy day today. Got trucks and jets flying all over the place. All right, we've got squatted side steps next. All right, squat down nice and low. Step to the left, step to the right left and stand up. You know, one of these days I can get my left and right straight. <laughs> Squat down. Remember three steps back and forth before you stand. Very short stand. If those muscles start giving out on you too much, feel free to take a little bit longer break at the top when you go to a full extension standing. But if you can, it's basically just pop up and right back to it. If you're real glutton for punishment, just keep going. Don't stand. Don't take the time. Just take that extra uh, second of rest. Just keep it moving back and forth. Whew. All right, let it relax. All right, we got straight leg deadlift next. Our last exercise before we get a little bit of a water break. So again, grab those dumbbells if you're using them right in front of those thighs. Back perfectly flat. Whew. Keep those legs straight. Tip forward as far as you can, as far as is comfortable without those knees bending. And come right back up again. Remember, a little tiny bit of a bend in that knee is what you want. You don't want to lock those knees out completely. Full range of motion, as low as you can go. Keeping that back flat. If you start feeling that lower back round out, like pull forward. You're going too far for your flexibility or for your strength. Remember, if you're doing body weight, you can always bring those hands behind your head for a little more leverage, make it a little harder, or a full extension. All right, that is our first group. We're gonna take a short little water break. When we come back, we've got two more groups of exercises to go through, and then our cool down. So we'll see you in just a second.
All right, everyone, let's go ahead and start into group number two. Go ahead and grab those weights. If you're using weights, we're starting off with a sumo squat and side leg lift. So uh, let me get my timer started here. Like I said, sumo squat with side leg lift. Just hold those weights uh, directly in front of you or just use one in front of your chest. Feet nice and wide. You're gonna squat down straight in the center. Come up, just one leg, squat, and then do the same thing on the opposite side. Just keep that back flat. Keep that motion under control. As you come up for that side leg lift, keep your torso straight up and down. Lungs open, controlled movements. If you start feeling your form slide, either drop that weight or slow that motion down to control it a little bit more. If you're doing this body weight and you still need it to be a little easier, feel free to limit that range of motion. If you can, full range of motion every single time. that relax. Go ahead and grab those weights for the next exercise. We're doing a side lunge. So again, feet really nice and wide, just like for a sumo squat. We're just going to be dropping off to one side. So go ahead and drop it down. Feet really nice and wide. Toes out slightly, about a 45 degree angle. And you're just going to drop on one side, back up. Don't let your knee completely lock out. You want a little bit of a soft knee there, a little bit of a bend, but try to get as much range of motion as you can. So almost full extension. All the way down as low as you can. Torso straight up and down. Lungs open, focus on that form. Run back through the checklist in your mind every single repetition. Since you don't have to count repetitions, you should constantly be checking what that form looks like. Five seconds left. Let it relax. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite leg now. So same exact amount of weight, where however you're holding it, either in front or one dumbbell in front of your chest. Five seconds. Same thing on the opposite side. And bend it out. Down as low as is comfortable. Bend that knee as much as you can, as long as it's comfortable on that knee and on that hip. Then come back up. Remember, don't lock that knee out all the way. Get it almost perfectly straight. Keep it just a little bit soft, a little bit bent. Lungs open. Focus on that form. Nice flat back, straight up and down. Just go through those repetitions. I've got about 15 seconds left. Keep those lungs open, no holding your breath. back up. We've got a straight leg deadlift again. This time we're doing it with toes in. So if you've never done a toes in deadlift, make sure you use really, really light weight to start out with. This one feels really, really weird and is compromising on those hips. So you always want to go light. So toes pointing in, flat back again. You're going to tip straight forward as far as it's comfortable. Right back up again. Just letting those dumbbells hang directly underneath your sh those shoulders. If you're using body weight, you can either do the same position or if you want to make it a little more difficult with uh, leverage, just bring those hands back behind your head or full extension above your head. So whatever version is the maximum you can control. You always want to challenge yourself. You can always back down on the version you're doing to make it easier. But you always want to challenge yourself as long as you can control that motion. Flat back. Make sure those knees stay it's a little bent. All right, let it relax. We're doing the same thing all over again. We've got one more set of each one of these exercises, starting back over with that sumo squat. All right, feet out really nice and wide. Squat down the center. One leg comes up and off to the side. Squat in the center, up and off to the side. Keep that torso straight up and down. Keep those lungs open, back flat. Just alternate back and forth. Go to that happy place. Just get the repetitions done. A 
as you lift that leg up and out to the side, make sure you keep that torso straight up and down. Try not to lean. All right, let it relax. We've got our side lunges next. All right, feet nice and wide. Dropping one knee off to the side, back up straight. Focus on that form, perfectly straight up and down through that spine. Dropping that knee out as far as it'll go, as far as it's comfortable on that knee and that hip. When you come back up to that full extension on that leg, don't completely lock it out, keep it a little bit soft. Just keep running through that in your head. Lungs open. Now I'll share a little trick with you. The reason why I always start with my left leg first, personally I'm right-handed, so that means that my left side is most likely to be just a little bit weaker because I'm right-hand dominant, or right-side dominant. If you're left-handed, that means your left side is most likely to be a little bit stronger, so you're going to want to start on your right side. So that way you can pick your weight you use, the number of repetitions you do, based on the weaker side. So you match it up and try to make them even. All right, let it relax. We're going to do the same thing on the other leg. Just give it just a second. Keep those lungs open. And start it up. Drop that knee out to the side. Back up. Remember, keep that knee soft. Back straight, and, uh, straight up and down. No rounding those shoulders forward. So even if you're left-handed, you've done it opposite on this one. Just next time through any other routines, if you see that I've started with my left side first, you're going to want to start with your right side first. It's just a little bit of a trick to make sure you're always balancing things out. Because you never want to do more repetitions or more weight on your stronger side and then not be able to do it on your weaker side. The goal is always to balance your body out. And let it relax. All right, straight leg deadlift with toes in. Grab those dumbbells for that. Get ready, toes pointed in as far as is comfortable. Knees slightly, slightly bent, flat back. Dumbbells in front of your thighs if you're using dumbbells. Tip straight forward, keep that back flat. Right back up again. Again, if you're using body weight and you want it to be just a little bit more challenging, hands behind your head or full extension over your head. You're going to feel quite a bit of pull through those hamstrings just from tension, just from tight uh, ligaments and muscles, tendons, but you want to push it as far as is comfortable. You don't want pain. You do want to feel that stretch. All right, let it relax. All right, we're going straight into that third group. No extra break here. So get those dumbbells ready for a front leg raise if you want to. Just one dumbbell just laying on your thigh, or if you have ankle weights, do that instead. Standing up straight and tall. Again, start with your left leg or right leg, whichever is more comfortable. Whichever one is uh, dominant, or the, uh, sorry, the non-dominant side. <sighs> Lift that leg. Torso perfectly straight up and down. You're just pulling that leg directly straight out in front of you. If you feel as though you have a really limited range of motion here, feel free to bend your knee and then extend it out and down to get that little extra range of motion out of it. Otherwise, just full extension on that leg. Pull it up as hard as you possibly can. Really make those hip flexors work. Keep that torso straight up and down. All right, same thing on the opposite side. Again, if you're using a dumbbell, just lay it on the top of that thigh or use an ankle weight to make these more difficult. Torso straight up and down. Leg comes straight out in front of you. Okay, if you need to get that little extra range of motion out of it, feel free to pull that knee up and then extend out and down. But if you can, just keep that full extension. Remember, this isn't a kick. This is a nice, slow contraction, pulling that leg up. So no swinging your leg, no letting that leg come back behind 
the line of your torso. And let it relax. Alright, we're doing bridges next, so go ahead and lay down on the ground. If you have a mat handy, grab that. It doesn't really matter too much though. Should be okay without. If you're using weight, place it right on those hips. Feet in as close as is comfortable. And press up, getting those hips up as high as you possibly can. If you're doing this body weight, and this is just way too easy for you, then do a few repetitions with just your left leg down, and then a few repetitions with just your right leg down. Just make sure you don't run out of time in the interval. If you're feeling those calves cramp up on you, check your feet, make sure your weight is in your heel and not in your toe. When you do this, a lot of people have a tendency to want to rock up on their toes the entire time. You want to keep that foot nice and flat against the ground or just actually pull those toes off the ground. All right, stand back up. We are going to do straight leg deadlift again, this time with those toes pointing out. So feet out, kind of like a duck, a duck walk kind of position. Flat back, straight down, and right back up. If you're using weight, just right in front of those thighs. If you're using body weight and you want it to be a little bit more difficult, hands behind your head or full extension. All right, back through all of those again. Starting back over with that front leg raise. All right, I'm starting mine with my left leg. So whichever leg is your non-dominant leg. Torso straight up and down. Leg comes straight up in front. So if you're using dumbbells with this routine, you should feel pretty shot about now. Those legs should feel like absolute jello. If not, you're not using enough weight. Just focus on that form. Or if you're using a dumbbell, just lay it on that thigh. It's not going to be a huge difference, but it'll help a little bit to make it a little more difficult. Otherwise, an ankle weight is going to be the most effective. You don't need much when it's all the way out at the end of your foot or end of your leg. And let it relax. Same thing on the other side. Those legs out for just a second. Start it over. Same thing on that opposite leg. So our last one of these. Raise that leg. Again, if you want that extra range of motion, feel free to bend that knee first and extend at the top as you drop it down. Just take your time. Take make sure the rate that you go up is the same rate that you drop. No letting it just fall back down. Nice deep breaths, keep that core nice and tight, torso straight up and down. Just do that range of motion as hard as, or as much as you possibly can. Just go to that happy place. And let it relax. All right, bridge. <clears throat> Flat down on your back. If you're using weights, put it on top of those hips. If you're using body weight and you want to make it more difficult, you can always do one leg at a time. Just make sure you don't run out of time on one side. Weight in those heels. Squeeze those glutes. Try to press those hips up as high as you possibly can. Just go to that happy place, get those repetitions done. 
Make sure you keep a little bit of a hover underneath those hips. All right, one more exercise. We have our uh, deadlifts next. Remember, toes pointing out. Dumbbells by your thighs, tip straight forward, flat back, straight back up. There's a lot more of a compromising position on those knees and hips. So like I said before, with those toes in, with both of these, make sure you're using relatively light weight. If you've never done them before, if you're using body weight, you want to make it a little harder. Hands behind your head. Or full extension. Just concentrate on keeping that back flat. Alright, that's the last one of those exercises, so we'll take a short little break. We'll come back to do our cool down. See you in just a second. Alright everyone, all we have left is that cool down, so let me get my timer started here. We're doing 30 seconds for each one of these, starting off with a right over left. So left leg's and stay straight, put your right leg over top, down towards those toes. Keep that back, uh, you can let that back relax, excuse me. If you want to get a little bit more of a stretch of that hamstring, you can flatten your back out a little bit, which will force that hamstring to tighten up a little bit more. Or you can round it out and try to get a little bit more stretch all the way through the whole line. Just keep those lungs open, breathing normally. All right, doing the same thing on the other side. So left over top of right, stretch it down. Or if you want a little more hamstring, flatten that back. Try to get that, uh, you're just going to feel it in that one leg that's underneath. Or if you want to get a little more back in there as well, go ahead and round that back out. Yeah, relax. We're doing a quad stretch next. If you need uh, to lean against a wall or the, a piece of furniture or something like that, feel free to do so. Same arm as foot. You're going to squeeze that heel to your butt and then press your knee back behind you. Keep that torso straight up and, and tall. You should feel the stretch of the front of that thigh. Woo! Whoa, so I can get my balance here. And same thing on the other side. Switch feet. Again, heel to butt as close as is comfortable. And then, whoop, man, I'm still having trouble with that balance. And then press that knee back. Just keep that torso straight up and down. Just breathing normally. Let it relax. We're going to do an inside thigh stretch next. So feet really nice and wide. Bend one knee and then lean back towards your straight leg. You should feel it on the inside of that thigh on that straight leg. Again, just breathe nice and deep. Try to let yourself relax. I know if you were just using body weight, you're probably not going to feel like this is much of a cardio exercise. And go and switch sides. But I guarantee you, you're going to feel it in those legs tomorrow. If you don't, next time you do this routine, use weight. Just take your time. Remember, stretch that inside of that thigh, pressing down towards that straight leg. Alright, we're going to be doing a cobra next. Lay down flat on your stomach, hands down by the base of your ribcage, slowly press up as high as is comfortable on that back, shoulders pulled back, chin up towards the ceiling, stretching everything out through the front of that body, might even feel it a little bit in that lower back. up, 
We're going to be doing a butterfly stretch next, so bring those feet together as close as comfortable. And then use those muscles to the outside of those thighs to kind of pull those legs down towards the ground. Nice full deep breath. Should feel this through the inside of that groin. And deep glute stretches next. So lay down flat on your back. One leg crossed over top. Grab behind the thigh of the other leg and pull in. Again, just breathe normally. Nice full deep breaths. So let everything relax. Just constantly pulling a little bit of tension on that leg. Should feel it through the glute of that leg you have crossed over top. Switch sides. Again, behind that thigh, pull in. Just breathing normally. Just keep that constant tension on that leg. If you start feeling it loosen up, just pull in a little bit closer. Well guys, that was our last stretch, which means this workout is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.